How's it going everyone? Trainer Connor here and it is time for another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Pokemon battle video. Thank you for watching everyone. If you enjoy this Wi-Fi battle, hit that like button and subscribe. We're facing off against a familiar face. If you've watched my uploads from a long while back, you would know that my opponent Ruin's Way is my best friend in real life. He's off to college this year, guys, so that's kind of why we haven't battled that much. But last Friday, we hung out and he wanted to have a battle with me, and so I obliged, and this is the battle that we had, alright? So, in this battle video, I wanted to use Speed Boost Stall Peak with the Move Pecan Pass and to use that efficiently, I have a Mega Golade and then some other Pokemon. Alright, so speaking of different Pokemon, I have a Jolteon to start out going for Hidden Power Ice, which is super effective against the High Dragon, but it's not doing enough damage. So I have to keep Jolteon alive just for a couple of Pokemon on the opponent's side that I have to take care of. And my opponent predicts to switch out to not to Spitz particularly, just to a different Pokemon. That's what his prediction was. And so my Citrus Berry activates. I know I can live another Draco Meteor because of the special attack drop that he has, but he gets a critical hit. And that, I guess, mattered in the sense that I had a lot of health restored from the Citrus Berry. I was going to restore my health even more with the Morning Sun move. But no, I didn't live that Draco Meteor because of that critical hit. Gosh darn it. Alright, so now it's time to show off Scooter. Scooter the Scallopede, go for Sword Stance and the Speed Boost from the ability of Scallopedes, and then go for Baton Pass. And what that does is that it carries off the modifiers from Scallopede and it gives it to the next Pokemon I signed out. In this scenario, it's going to be Mega Gallade, who's going to go Mega, and I can go for close combat with a plus two attack stat and a plus one speed boost. Sweet, right? And that's kind of why the Scallopede set that I have in this battle is banned in standard play. This is standard play, but I just want to use it so badly, darn it. I make a mistake right here by leaving Mega Gallade. I really should have switched out and got into my Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn steal. I do go into Ferrothorn, but after Golay goes down, I really should have just hardcore switched out physically and went into my Ferrothorn. So that way I would still have my Golay around and then the Mawile would go for a play rough and it would hit the Ferrothorn instead and take a lot of damage from my ability, Iron Bars, and the Rocky Helmet. But no, it's the other way around. Those mistakes, man, they just come to bite you. Anyway, so I do layer some entry hazards, spikes. I really wanted to get some stealth ox up too, but I guess having having two spikes up on the field is better than nothing. I get a critical hit on the power whip, and that's huge because I really don't have an answer for Houndoom on the team. So, this is great because at the HP level that he's at right now, two turns of hail damage is going to take care of the Mega Houndoom. We see him Mega evolving there. And so that means even though he's setting up a nasty plot, Ouroboros is going to go down right here. Border Ross is there. He's not going to do anything. But he's going to secure a double gown for us. And that's great. So thank you, Borderlossus, for helping us out in this battle. And that means that we had a double gown. And those are the best types of gowns. 
Now here, I was not paying attention. I was talking to my opponent's parents about life and stuff, which you guys don't need to know right now. And the point is, I wasn't paying attention to this part where I KO'd the High Dragon. I was like, wait, what just happened? And then Ruins Way was like, you KO'd my High Dragon. I'm like, sweet, that's amazing. And so, on top of that, we have Scallopig live a sucker punch too. And I was like, I really, I was like, really? That didn't take out the Ganaka, the Mawile? Because I, I, I thought that Scallopig, at the HP level that the Mawile is at, I thought Megahorn would KO it at that range of HP, but no, it didn't. So, I guess the hell helped us out again. So again, or worse, you did your job. You secured another KO for us because of the hail. Anyway, so, man, that took a long while for me to say that sentence. We have two Pokemon remaining to take care of. That will be the Lapis and the Pikachu. We lose Scooter, but this will give my Jolteon a safe switch in. And I go for full switch. I knew he was going to switch, but then I forgot all about Pika Bell, the Pikachu that he has. And that sucks because he has Lightning Rod. And that raises his special attack. And I am locked in on that move because I'm choice best. Anyway, so I'm going to go into Farathorn. And if he gets a flinch here, he's. He has to get two flinches here to win the match. He gets the first flinch and the second icicle crash. What's it going to be? We survive and we don't get paralyzed and we don't get flinched. If I got in flinch, I think he would have won the match, okay? Because all I had left was my Jolteon. And the only moves I have are like electric type moves, which wouldn't work against Pikachu. Now here's where he blows my mind because he went for Dragon Dance. I thought he was going to go for the attacking move on my Ferrothorn. But that move that he went for, Dragon Dance, was huge for my opponent. That's probably one of the most important plays of the match. And I'll tell you why. Even though I won the match, he could have very easily, he could have very easily won that match because he was fishing for a, a paralysis from my Ferrothorn. And then he would take that advantage by setting up Dragon Dances to the point where his speed is fast enough to outpace my Jolteon. So that's why he did that play right there. And that was kind of risky, kind of ballsy, but you know, that was still a great play by my opponent there. And that was the end of that amazing Wi-Fi battle. I hope you guys enjoyed that match. Now, as I am posting this video, the next season of the Indigo League of Legends is coming up here real soon. If you're not familiar with what that means, or if you don't know what that term, Indigo League of Legends, is, it's a Pokemon-based fantasy league where you draft Pokemon and you battle against 10 other people and then you go in the playoffs after the weeks are over. So it's like fantasy sports kind of thing. You might have noticed I did upload a few matches from the first season of the Indigo League of Legends. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go down my playlist and you'll see some matches from that. But season two is coming up here, guys. And I'm really excited to be the coach of the San Francisco Swamperts. Previously, it was the Human Law City Samurais. But I got fired because I didn't do so well in the first season, so... Hopefully, the San Francisco Swampers prevail. The draft is set for Sunday at 8 p.m. Pacific Time. If you're watching this on a different day, other than Sunday, then you missed it. But, point is, the next season is just around the corner, and I'm really excited for it. So, be on the lookout for some ILL matches, as well as some more OS Wi-Fi battles here, too. And with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Alright, goodbye, trainers.